Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Quebec, Montreal. My name's Tim Baghurst, and joined by GTRB at the controls. We're about to watch a matchup between Curtis Cullen from Manitoba and Mitch Braley. Four seed versus 11 seed, Curtis Cullen will be the favorite in this match. These two are good friends. Both of them heavily involved in developing racquetball in Canada. How will it turn out? Mitch Braley is in the back in the red. Promised me a two and a half hour match full of timed uh, excitement. And <laughs> it starts with that. Curtis Culling running forward. And Braley going past him. One serving zero. It'll be a screen serve. They've planned some drama, is what they told me. We'll see. Another screen serve. We'll skip off from Braley, left side. Ceiling ball creates the opportunity. And Cullen was testing Braley down this left side with the ceiling ball and uh, Braley. Oh, he came up with a point, two serving two. Curtis Cullen finished fourth in the last national championships held. That was in doubles. Partner was Mitch Braley. So these two doubles partners facing off against each other. Finished in the bronze medal position back in 2011 at the Junior World Championships with none other than Samuel Murray. Set up for Cullen. Not putting it down, paid the price. Snap of the wrist. And put away by Braley. Curtis Cullen, boast winner. It was all he had. The ball slid along the back glass. Side wall, side wall, front wall. Side out with a point, 4-3. Best of five. First of 15, win by one until the fifth game, then win by two. That's the IRF rules that Racquetball Canada are following. Another excellent serve from Cullen. Oh dear. That's a good backhand down the right side. Both of those players 
making some mistakes. They're playing quickly. They're playing hard and fast. Helen may be the more patient, but it's 4-4. That's just too good. Ripping backhand pinch winner from deep in the court. It's a couple of those that Collins hit. Dies on the back crotch of the left corner wall and back wall. Braley will take it. It's a point. 5-5. Five, five. Cullen, a little frustration. Not surprising, really. He had the opportunity off that back wall. Didn't put it down with the pinch. And as a consequence, paid the price. Six serving five. That's not a good serve. Screen. Second serve coming up. <laughs> nice shot. Forehand pinch winner leaning back. And Cullen. Playing a little too defensively is paying the price. Braley controlling these points and leads 7 5. Ball comes off the glass a little sideways. Braley swinging a miss. Side out. Ball opened up the right side into the middle was Curtis Cullen and he put it away. 7-7. Seven, seven. Mitch Braley this time says I can play too. Rips that backhand for a winner. Halfway through this first game. Great shot. Braley, a fan of stand-up comedy, likes, likes doing stand-up comedy. Don't see much animation and amusement on his face right now. All business, 9-7. Both of these players spend a lot of time training. Very dedicated to the sport. You can see very fit, athletic. court that time from Braley. This is JT uh, turning into a decent match. Definitely a lot of back and forth. But we're not seeing any... We're not seeing many skips. Skills. We're not right. seeing sloppy play. <laughs> Soft hands, Curtis Cullen. Braley went straight back down the middle. Both players started playing very young. Smart pass, Curtis Cullen. Curtis uh, does racquetball programming for juniors, as does Braley. There's the skip. 
Braley, president of the Alberta Racquetball Association, a volunteer position. So I want to say a big thank you to both of them for helping to grow racquetball in Canada. Three balls. And you will see them in one of the commercials that we play. We'll see the inflatable courts. Right. Uh, great idea that I hope is going to pay off for years to come. Reverse pinch winner from Curtis Cullen. Timeout on the court. Let's take a timeout ourselves. It's poised here in game one. We'll see who, who wins it. If you're watching this, we're guessing you're already familiar with the concept of safe sport. And that's great. Everybody wants to provide safe, healthy, and respectful sport environments for all their stakeholders. Safe sport is ingrained in Respect Group's DNA. In fact, the movement started in 1997, when our co-founder, Sheldon Kennedy, disclosed his abuse. Assisted by the bold leadership of Hockey Canada, Speak Out, the first safe sport program was created. Classroom-based and mandatory for every Canadian hockey coach, it provided the foundation for the safe sport movement. Respect Group's been carrying that torch ever since. And now, through our online training, we're proud. Wow, I don't recommend that shot. But obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. Braley runs over, gets stuck on the left wall, and somehow, perfect cross-court winner to the right side. Great timeout, 11-10. That's not a good serve, and Cullen very comfortable with that return. 11-11. Whoever loses this game, they'll be they'll be looking back on this game, knowing how close it was. And smooth finish from Cullen. Didn't lose his composure. Braley hit the floor, dug the ball up. Cullen. Puts it down the line. 12 serving 11. Mm, ball slides down that left wall. True fact, JTRB, Curtis Cullen was once my roommate. Yeah, uh, a big student of, of just self-development, self-improvement, reads a lot of books. Good roomie, I would say. Look at that for a cross-court winner. Backhand side, ripped it. Curtis Cullen brings up game point number one, 14-12. Wow. Well, Braley went for the pinch winner deep in the back of the court. It stayed up. Curtis Cullen ripped it into the left corner, showed him what to do. Claims the first, 15-12. So, Cullen takes the first. Braley's got work to do. We'll be back for game two in just a minute. If you're watching this, we're guessing you're already familiar with the concept of safe sport. And that's great. Everybody wants to provide safe, healthy, and respectful sport environments for all their stakeholders. Safe sport is ingrained in Respect Group's DNA. In fact, the movement started in 1997, when our co-founder, Sheldon Kennedy, disclosed his abuse. Assisted by the bold leadership of Hockey Canada, Speak Out, the first safe sport program was created. Classroom-based and mandatory for every Canadian hockey coach, it provided the foundation for the safe sport movement. Respect Group's been carrying that torch ever since. And now, through our online training, we're proud to say that over 1 million Canadians are Respect certified in sport and youth-serving organizations, from grassroots to national sport and everything in between. How did that happen? It took principled thinking, a little trial and error, and leaders like you, 
making safe and welcoming sport a priority. For us, it's not just about Welcome back, everybody. Tim Baghurst, JTRB. These players really wanting to get on with this match. Not wasting time. Braley does so well to dig that off the back wall. But it's two bounces. Cullen seems to have settled down and is executing his shots a little bit better. But it was close in game one. And that's clean. Right to the middle of the court. Cullen there, forehand pinch winner, another point. That's clever from Braley. Flick of the backhand wrist. Both of these players playing with a gearbox. Looks like the 170. Not a good serve. Set up for Braley, here he goes. And skips it. Wow. Tough shot, Mitch Braley. Those are always so tough. You know they're sliding down the wall. You're not sure whether to take them before it hits. Just after. And it's just unlucky from Braley. Cullen back in, serving. Sticking with this Z-serve seems to be working. Mm. These two know each other's games really well. You can see it, they're moving before the other one hits. Oh, this time Braley goes for the Z, but it comes just a little bit off and you can see Cullen ready for it. Front left corner. 5 serving 3 Well, an, an unusual shot JT. That's not what you traditionally <laughs> hit there, but it worked for Braley. Point 4 5. But the difference for me right now is it's Cullen serves are better. They're deeper, they're more acute. Braley's are coming off, Cullen's just putting them away. Not seeing many second serves right now, and many lob serves. Now, I'm not sure what that was. Other, other than a fault serve. Stating the obvious. I mean, that's an excellent Nick Lob. And Braley not able to get there, and Cullen is starting to pull away in the second game. If you're just joining us, we've been here all day, or most of the day. We've had multiple matches on this morning and afternoon. Got one more coming up this evening, scheduled for 8 p.m. Eastern. And that time, Braley takes care of that loose lob serve and puts it away. Colin describes himself as a nerd. He loves reading. Right now, he seems to be reading the serve of Mitch Braley pretty well. <laughs> like how I brought that in there. Smooth transition. Mm -hmm. You should do this for money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you, yes. <laughs> we could talk a lot about that. That's clean, Braley, straight down the line. 
Oh yeah, see the chat box said he's definitely a nerd. Being a student of the game is not a bad thing. Oh, great effort from Braley, but again, Cullen with the point. Like the effort from Braley, diving off our screen. Not a good serve. Braley couldn't get it past Cullen in the middle. Cullen put it down. Skip ball. Timeout, Shirley JT. All right, 11-6, it's, it's too far now. You're four points away. Cullen's four points away from game number two. Not a good shot. And paid the price. There is the timeout. That was ambitious from Braley. It's 12-6 in favor of Cullen. We'll see what Braley comes, comes back to in just a minute. Welcome back, everybody. A sprinkling of French and English surround us. We're here in Montreal, Quebec, in Quebec. Montreal. <laughs> yeah, see, Cullen's all over this. Skip ball, Braley. Cullen is anticipating. He reads a lot. He's reading Braley right now in this match. He's, he's anticipating what Braley's going to do before Braley does it. 13-6. And it's starting with a really good Z serve. That's good, straight down the line from Braley. Turn the serve into some points. Only has two more opportunities to lose a rally before this game is over. Now there's a change up. And got a skip from it. Colin hasn't skipped many. I expect we'll see the same serve. I expect we'll see Colin jump it. No. Skips two in a row. Bradley's found something. Surely he'll jump this one. I mean, he's essentially baiting. He doesn't. Ah, oh, I'm a little surprised. That's three in a row. 10 serving 13. Another point, and maybe it's Cullen who needs to take the timeout, but it looks like this kind of half high. Mid-high Z is working. Cullen's not attacking it. Here he goes. And four points in a row. 11-13, this is getting interesting. All changed from this serve.
And Cullen puts that one down. Difference being he attacked it early, went cross court, forcing Bradley to play defense, then got the opportunity on that fourth shot. There it is. Game point opportunity for Cullen. Wow. Oh my. And he puts it down to claim game two, but that was not a great rally from either of them. And it's Cullen who's a little happier walking off this court. So we're taking a break. We'll be back for game number three. Can Cullen get out of here in three? We'll find out. Back live, everybody. Tim Baghurst, JTRB. Enjoying this coverage of the Canadian National Championships. This is round robin. Really demonstratively upset coming off that court. And even during the timeout, shaking his head. Let's see if he can regroup. That's better. Cullen, of course, will be confident and relaxed, having won the first two games. Cullen, easy. Bradley's really swinging hard on almost everything and the adage of power is nothing without control is starting to demonstrate that. Again, back to the middle. Too much middle, too much sidewall. And this is the difference between maybe playing recreationally at home and having to do it on a, a bigger stage. Nice shot. But again, aggressive from Braley, taking it high. Comes back to Cullen. Easy shot from Cullen. Still had to execute, but did so very well. That's a nice shot. Serving three. Wow, three serving three. I don't think Cullen expected that ball to hit the front wall. I'm not sure Braley did either, but he'll take it all square through three. I 
and then a skip from Cullen. He's gotten a little sloppier over the last five minutes. This is just round robin, of course. Two days of round robin before single elimination. Nice get. Cullen. Not that time, Braley. Clean hitting from Curtis Cullen. Clean pass from Braley. Nice shot. Another good shot. This pump from Braley. There's a little bit more of, I think, what he needs in this match. Some animation, some, some fire. Eight serving four. Uh oh. Mm, Braley tried to guide it into the left corner. Little flick of the wrist. Cullen should have done better, but got away with it. Five serving eight. Yeah, that, that Z serve starting to go off the boil a little bit, came up short. Mitch Braley able to really step into that backhand winner. As a consequence, he's serving at 9 5. Sticking with this lob serve over onto the forehand side of Cullen. And a skip, Curtis Cullen. Timeout, JT. I think so. Yeah, 5 10 down. Nice shot, smart shot. A lot of people would have panicked. Braley kept his composure. He's fighting hard. For just joining us, lost the first two, 15-12, 15-11. Timeout on the court taken by Cullen. I think maybe one or two points too late, but we'll find out.
We're back in. It's 11-5. Braley leads in game three. Excellent lob serve down the right side. But I don't like the decision to hit it that high. If you're going to hit it that high, you've got to put it away. It's an all or nothing shot. And right now, Braley getting nothing for it. This time it's Cullen who changes his serve. And Braley just a half step slow on that one. Cullen going away from the Z serve that he was using so effectively in game one. Tricky. Cullen does well. But Braley does even better. What a shot that was. Take another look at this. Patient. This is Cullen. Did well to get that off the back wall. Look at this ripping winner. Cullen just looks a little disoriented in this third game, a little frustrated. Braley hasn't made the unforced errors, and it's really being, it's really come down to the serve, this lob serve over to the forehand, first the Z and now the straight, and is just baiting Cullen into shooting and shooting too low. And if I'm coaching Cullen, you don't have to do that. You don't have to go for bottom board. Put it deep into the back right. You can out rally Braley. There you go. Just like that. Oh, but you got to do better than that. Oh, Cullen tried to back it off, tried to cut it off. But JTRP, we've got a game. And it's in favor of Mitch Braley. And now it's two games to one. Take a quick break. But Curtis Cullen. Well, it looked like he was cruising, but now he's got work to do. If you're watching this, we're guessing you're already familiar with the concept of safe sport, and that's great. Everybody wants to provide safe, healthy, and respectful sport environments for all their stakeholders. Safe sport is ingrained in Respect Group's DNA. In fact, the movement started in 1997 when our co-founder, Sheldon Kennedy, disclosed his abuse. Assisted by the bold leadership of Hockey Canada, Speak Out, the first safe sport program was created. Classroom-based and mandatory for every Canadian hockey coach, it provided the foundation for the safe sport movement. Respect Group's been carrying that torch ever since. And now, through our online training, we're proud to say that over 1 million Canadians are Respect certified in sport and youth-serving organizations, from grassroots to national sport and everything in between. How did that happen? It took principled thinking, a little trial and error, and leaders like you, making safe and welcoming sport a priority. For us, it's not just about compliance and a check mark, but a comprehensive approach to culture change, providing all of your stakeholders with multiple tools to create a positive sport environment and inspiring them to want to come back each and every day for more. That's our goal. Zero zero is the scoreline. It's game number four. What an interesting match this has turned out to be. <laughs> Clean hit from Braley. We saw a few unforced errors creep into Curtis Cullen's game in, in game number three. Played almost. Uh, Error free in games one and two. Braley especially looked a bit lost in game one, but or game two, but he's come back strong in game three. Cullen though, maintaining composure, very calm player. You won't see him get very upset or emotional.
And I was going to say that was a great Z. Go ahead, Mitch, pull that out. Mm. Unforced error from Braley. Back and forth we go. These two are putting on quite a competition this evening. A reminder, we've got another doubles match coming up at 8 p.m. Nice shot. A little bit lucky as it squirts down the left side, but... Look at how low Braley got to that. Four serving two. Will we have a game five, our first of the day? Mmm, Curtis Cullen just hit himself. <laughs> Smashed the ball in disgust. I said he doesn't get very emotional. Did you get a replay of this? <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, God. That's why you wear eyewear, so you don't hurt yourself. That's better. Bradley's done really well with this backhand cross court. And I think the weakness for Cullen is on this forehand side. Definitely struggling more. Bradley will shoot this. No. This one. Better look. Lots of ball staying up at the moment. Lots of perhaps overswinging too much power. Both players having opportunities in these rallies. It's going to come down to who's going to execute. Take advantage of these opportunities when they have them. Seven serving four. Well, players overturned the call of short serve by the official. Serve was good, play continued. Oh, how did he do that? <laughs> Let's take another look. I want to see this again. <laughs> Wish I could do that. Nice shot, Cullen. Feet set. Executed perfectly. Blistering serve from Curtis Cullen. Oh, I like it. That's a Tim shot, JT. That's the power. That's the kind of power I have. Can't hit it hard, so you got to hit it soft and accurate. That was clever. I like it. Nice shot. Bradley trap left side. 
Cullen goes for the pinch to the right. Snap of the wrist from Cullen and another point, eight, nine. Cullen just seven points away from this match, looking for the one seed. Wow, that's tough. Rolls it out. Nine serving nine. That's gonna hurt. Oh, God. <laughs> and time out. Oh, we just missed it again. Yeah, that one's gonna leave a mark. And Braley, not surprisingly, uh, he's down on his back and uh, behind us. And that should be a point too, Jay-Z, right? He moved across just too soon, paid the price, and uh, is taking a medical timeout. I'm just, I'm just looking around behind me. Looks like he's okay. It's good to see. Of course, Cullen had no idea he was there. Well, just, this is day one. We have another day of round robin tomorrow before we go into the single elimination on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We are in Montreal, Quebec. This is the 2022 National Championships. Last year, there were, it was only the, the open play that was held as a national championships just because of COVID. And 2020 wasn't, didn't happen, so a lot of these players have not played in a national championship we have since 2019. That was in Langley, just outside of Vancouver. Sadly, that was the last tournament ever held at that club. They shut down the courts after that tournament. It was a bit, a bit sad. And Colin puts one down, and you just wonder if that shot to the back is, is that it? Is, is that what Braley's got left? Colin, four points away. Not yet, says Braley. Soft backhand, we've seen that more than once. Such a great game, if you haven't yet shared it. It's spread racquetball around Canada and the world. We watch Curtis Cullen crush a forehand. We have a broken strings on the racket for Braley, so he'll be switching out his racket. But yeah, let's let's add some followers to Racquetball Canada. Invite some friends to watch. Just takes a minute. You could do it right now. Eleven serving ten. Excellent serve. Oh yeah, Cullen, all over that from Braley. Do what Braley was going to do and was there before Braley hit it almost. 
12 serving 10. These points so crucial whether you're serving or receiving. That's a good shot from Braley. Maintained his composure. Shot in the middle of the court. Bradley, no options there. 13-11. Skip ball, that was big. That was big. Match point, Curtis Cullen. 14-11. <laughs> Just to add to the drama, he lost his dampener. Cullen lost his dampener, so he's coming out. Get his dampener back on. Just a reminder, 8 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be back. Maybe a little bit earlier, just depending on uh, our schedule. Looks like, if, assuming Curtis Cullen pulls this out, we'll be a little ahead of schedule. So, who knows? We're scheduled for 8 but we might be on a little bit <laughs> earlier. Uh, it'll be women's doubles, and that should be a fun one. Lambert and Morissette taking on Drury and Iwasa. And Cullen, backhand winner cross court, takes it. Excellent shot. Good showing from Braley. Played well, but ultimately it was Cullen who grounded out 15 12, 15 11, 7 15, 15 11. Well, I hope you enjoyed the coverage. Thanks so much for watching. This is the Racquetball Canada National Championships. My name is Tim Backers, joined by JTRB at the controls. We will see you again in a couple of hours. We acknowledge the financial support of the Government of Canada. Nous reconnaissons l'appui financier du gouvernement du Canada. <laughs>